The Golden Bolts Game Review says, you should do a five graphically unimpressive series for the PS4. I'm joined by my mate, the Golden Bolt. And we're looking at five graphically unimpressive PS4 games. Now, this list isn't going to be a hit piece on games that looked good at the time, but look less than stellar now. To paraphrase, these games just look straight up terrible for the PlayStation 4. I'll just read the exact PSN description here. Horse Racing 2016 is most fabulous and entertaining game for everyone. If you want to feel real horse racing championship, show your desire and courage to play this game. This game uniqueness makes you play this game for hours. You will love to play this game again and again. Horse Racing 2016 destroyed my wrist. Featuring six low poly horses racing in a fight to the death, this game makes San Andreas's horse racing look beautiful. Bad animations, bad texture work, glitchy backgrounds, and terrible gameplay characterize horse racing 2016, but the main menu theme is groovy. I don't know how a background full of nothing can be glitchy, but we've peaked here, folks. The only thing of note is that when you win, your racer stiffly throws his whip up in the air and then catches it. That's... that's not how physics works. Full disclaimer, this footage is just from the demo of the game because there was no way that we were going to pay $13 for this. Wait, we weren't? Orc Slayer boasts ugly visuals, sluggish frame rates, terrible gameplay, and a meta score of just 15. Boring and repetitive environments are decorated with some of the most ridiculous looking enemy models I've ever seen. How they slide around on their walking loop is just so wonderfully dumb. Despite disappearing corpses and simplistic effects, the frame rate tanks whenever anything moving is on the screen, and because the speed of the game is tied to the frame rate, simply trying to control your aim becomes a wildly frustrating affair. How a game this ugly doesn't perform well on a PS4 is beyond me, and as a final product, it just screams of sloppiness and inexperience. Orc Slayer opens with a little Unity icon on the splash screen, so unfortunately it's living up to that stereotype. And 71.1% of players have earned a platinum trophy for this, which really just speaks for itself. In my opinion, the worst looking game on this list, Skylight Free Range isn't even one game, it's two. Both games were released on the PS4 in 2017 by the one-man team at Dragoon Entertainment, with Skylight Free Range 2 actually releasing first for some reason. As an aside, these games are also only available on PSN right now, as they are both banned from Steam. The footage you're seeing is exclusively of the first game, but I can assure you the sequel does not improve things at all. There's not much to say about this game's visuals, what you're looking at speaks for itself. The animations are absolutely horrendous, making Roblox look like Uncharted 4. I mean, just look at that walking animation, something I like to refer to as the Chad Walk. The wall and floor textures are these awful cookie cutter designs, the overworlds look like you're playing Minecraft on low settings, and some enemies don't even have textures. That's a flesh colored mannequin jittering around, that's just what that enemy is. You can actively see parts of the map pop into view, there wasn't even effort put in to hide it with the usual PS1 fog. The worst thing about all of this is that there's a trailer for Skylight Free Range 2 on the official PlayStation YouTube channel. This got top billing from Sony despite looking worse than pretty much any 3D game on the Game Boy Advance. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 is as ugly as it is insulting. Released in 2015 by Robomoto and Activision, there's a soulless quality to the way this game looks. Repetitive and bland looking empty levels that feel user made are just the beginning of an array of problems here, ranging from performance issues and glitches, to clunky animation and a half-hearted attempt at an art style. This art style was implemented into the game less than two months from launch, where the character models and select objects were given new shaders and a cartoonish outline, and it's stupidly 
obvious how haphazardly it was implemented. Looking back at this launch trailer for the game, it's hard to argue that the new style looks better in any conceivable way, but hey, I guess it was going to be ugly either way. Putting this game side by side with Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 from all the way back in 2001 is also a fairly interesting comparison. I'd argue that 3 looks much better in terms of visual design. Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go a little off topic here, but I need an excuse to rant about how god awful this game really is. Much of my music tastes and hobbies can be directly traced back to the old Tony Hawk's games, like no other series has influenced my personal life as much as this, and to see it washed up and bastardized is so depressing. It's, it's, it's an exploitative kick in the teeth to fans of the series, and it simply makes me sad. On a lighter note, it's definitely a graphically unimpressive PS4 game. Life of Black Tiger is a free mobile game from 2010 made by the inappropriately named One Games, developer of dozens of awful mobile shovelware titles. Widely referred to as the worst PlayStation 4 game in existence, Black Tiger was also promoted officially by the PlayStation YouTube channel in 2017, on the same day that Nintendo revealed the Switch no less. This was their counter to Nintendo's next system. Every single thing you see in this game is a generic Unity asset, and yet it has the worst performance I have ever seen out of a Unity game. The frame rate is all over the place, the animations are stilted and loop at all the wrong points, and even the lighting is bad. This is grass. This grass is glossy, reflecting sunlight as if it were the first freshly landed snow of the winter season. Throw in maps that just end at a certain point, awful loading screens, FMV cutscenes that are even lower in quality than the Sega CD's worst, and you get an experience that I'm ashamed to have beaten... twice. Did I mention that this game, this free phone game, is $10 on PSN? If you want to see more of this disgusting game, Bolt was forced to make a full review of Life of Black Tiger, and you can check that out in the upper right hand corner of this video, or in the description down below. And with that, we have five terrible PS4 games. Don't you mean terrible looking? Yeah, whatever. This was a cool experiment. I had a lot of fun collaborating with your boy Bolt, so do go check out his channel. Hey, thanks for having me. This was a lot of fun to make. If you guys do want to see my channel, check out the Golden Bolt for in-depth game reviews, top 10s, and more. I actually just uploaded a video essay discussing what went wrong with PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale for the game's 5th anniversary, so give that a look. As for what I've been up to, I've been fairly lazy this past month, but I do have a video about Max Payne on the GBA coming, so you've got that to look forward to. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and have a good one.